We pulled off our second anytime touchdown prop sweep, including our plus 800 pay dirt parlay. We even cashed our long shot with Brenton Strange on Monday Night Football. We'll look to do it again with a few new faces in Week 4, including a plus 625 pay dirt parlay. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy this content, smash the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already, and let us know in the comment section who do you have finding the end zone in Week 4. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So like I said, we pulled off the sweep. Jonathan Taylor, David Montgomery, Lamar Jackson... All added up to over plus 800 on the pay dirt parlay. Brenton Strange was our long shot. He scored on Monday Night Football despite the Jaguars getting trounced. Uh, we'll look to do it again this week. We are now 7-2 on our anytime touchdown props on the season. And let's start with my favorite touchdown scorer of the week like we always do. Aaron Jones, plus 135 over at DK. This is a classic revenge spot. He's already talking about doing the Lambo leap against his former team. He has scored in two of three games. He's had 14 plus touches in all three games, and he's coming off season highs across the board. You name it carries, rushing yards, receptions, receiving yards. Now he's facing a Packers defense that ranks 24th, allowing 4.7 yards per carry. I expect the Packers to be a little bit, to struggle to score a little bit offensively here. Uh, with Jordan Love being hobbled, and I expect Jones to get plenty of work, plenty of chances in the red zone. Let's start him off. Plus 135 is our first anytime touchdown scorer. Let's go to number two, doing something a little different here. Going Brees Hall, parlayed with the Jets' money line to lower the juice. Brings it down to minus 110. It's the first time we've done something like this. But I love Hall to score. I just don't want to pay the hefty price. Now, Hall is one of 10 NFL players to score in all three weeks of the NFL season. He has four total touchdowns. Denver does have a strong pass D, but they've been weak against the run, allowing 126 yards per game. They've allowed uh, four running back touchdowns, including a, recep a receiving touchdown in week one to Zach Charbonnet. That's important because we know Hall gets uh, some receiving work out of the backfield. As far as the Jets winning, they're at home playing a rookie quarterback, favored by over a touchdown in this one. Let's go Brees Hall with the Jets money line for number two. We're going to go to an old friend for number three. He's gotten the job done for us before. Saquon Barkley, minus 140, over at DK. He has scored in two of three games. He has four total touchdowns on the season. Both teams are banged up. Bucks are banged up on both sides of the ball, so it could uh, limit their chances of scoring. And obviously, it'll hurt their defense. Eagles, dealing with wide receiver injuries. We know A.J. Brown has already missed some time. And Devonta Smith is also now potentially going to miss this game. If they are both out, Saquon is going to get plenty of work here. Tampa Bay defense, eighth most rushing yards allowed, fourth most running back rushing touchdowns they haven't allowed a running back to score on a reception yet however they've allowed the most running back receiving yards with 211 most in the nfl and that's important because barkley has caught 10 of 11 passes for 53 yards and he has already scored a touchdown on the season so let's wrap up all three of those guys barkley Brees hall plus the jets money line and uh, Aaron Jones will be our pay dirt parlay at plus 625. Our long shot, Michael Wilson from the Cardinals. Uh, he's plus 250 right now over at FanDuel, but he's plus 150 at uh, DK. So great value here over at FanDuel. He's coming off a big week. He caught eight of nine passes for 65 yards, 27%. Target share, 100% route participation in 30-plus dropbacks last week. He only scored in week one. we got to look at that. And Arizona had been playing with a big lead against Buffalo. They had a huge lead against the Rams, so they didn't really need to utilize the passing game too much. Now he faces Washington Commanders. 
Second most receiving yards allowed with 255 plus per game. More, more important than that, though. Most wide receiver touchdowns allowed with nine. Next closest team has six. Trey McBride is dealing with a concussion. It looks like he's going to miss this game. Marvin Harrison Jr. has now popped up on the injury report with a quad issue. I would expect him to play. Uh, but if he misses this game where he's hobbled, he might be looking Wilson's way a little bit more here. This game sets up as a shootout with the highest total on the board at over 50 points. So our long shot is going to be Michael Wilson at plus 250. But like I said, pay dirt parlay, Barkley, Brees Hall plus the Jets money line, and Aaron Jones for plus 625. I do have a 5% NFL play locked and loaded for Sunday afternoon. We are number one in the NFL for props in 2024. If you use the code NFL50, NFL50 will get you $50 off an NFL season pass. And right now you can get 10 day all access pass for the price of seven days. You get three days free. Breaks down to less than $8 per day over at sportsmemo.com. As always, there is a link to my action at Sports Memo in the pinned comment. I always have free plays at X, which is Steve's at Steve's Book 22. I have free plays posted at sportsmemo.com always. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let's pull off another sweep for week four. And I'll see you right back here again for week five. Good luck, guys, and I'll see you next time.